three students from St. Charles Borromeo Middle School participated in the regional history bee recently. Three students qualified to compete at the national level. They will be heading to Atlanta, Georgia to compete next month. Now, two of the students here with us this morning, Andy Hughes and Michael Ortiz, along with their social studies teacher, Sean Allison. Guys, thanks for coming in. First of all, congratulations. Thank you, sir. So, um, I got to ask you, how did you guys, were you just always interested in history? Did, were you prompted into becoming history buffs? Someone at that young age typically is not a history buff, so I'm curious, what sparked your interest in history? Well, I guess um, it's just a really fun subject to study in school. Mm -hmm. It offers some relief to the other boring subjects, I guess. <laughs> there you go, okay. So tell us about this history bee. Now, you know, everyone knows about spelling bees, but what are history bees, Sean? Can you tell us a little bit about uh, that? So it's a national competition that was created about three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of, uh, you know, there's always been the geography bee as well as the spelling mm -hmm. bee. And um, there was a lot of interest in just uh, basically creating a competition based around historical trivia. Mm -hmm. And so it was created three years ago based in Atlanta. Okay. Um, and this is our second year competing. Okay. And it basically covers all historical topics from ancient civilizations to modern U.S. Wow, that's incredible. What are the age ranges? I mean, uh, now you're going into ninth grade, you're going into eighth grade. What are the age ranges within this competition? So there's two different categories. There's an elementary category, mm -hmm. and then there's a middle school. Okay, fantastic. All right, so as you said, you guys competed last year. How did you do last year? Um, well, we won the, the, the regional. There you go. Show that plaque there. You got to be proud of that. And That's awesome. So we won this year again. So we're going to Atlanta this year. Yeah, that's exciting. So I know that you said that these are general fields of study for history. I'm curious, guys, do you have a specific area of history that you're interested in? Um, well, I don't know. Not really. Not really? Just kind of... Yeah. All around? Okay, yeah. Michael, how about you? Um, there's definitely, uh, ancient civilizations are very interesting to me because it um, really shows us how civilization first developed. Mm -hmm. So I think that's very interesting. Okay. So now you're going into high school. Are you, are you going to be taking any special classes, advanced history classes? Um, yes, I qualified for the honors classes mm -hmm. and I'll be taking honors history most wow. likely. That's great. That's great, representing New Mexico very well. So if someone wants to get their kid involved in this, we've got a young history buff. Right. How do we get our kiddos involved? So usually it's through uh, the school systems. However, um, any student can sign up. All you need is an adult sponsor. Okay. And that usually is through the school. However, um, it doesn't actually even need to be a teacher as your adult sponsor. It could be anyone. It could be anyone. So okay. um, especially we saw at the regional competition, there were a lot of um, homeschooled students okay. that had parent sponsors as well as a lot of charter schools and private schools. It's open up to pretty much any student in middle school. Okay, any student in middle school. Fantastic. Well, guys, have fun in Atlanta. That's got to be a lot of fun. And families, parents at home, uh, just to let you guys know, in the next hour, we're going to be talking a little more about this, and we're going to put ourselves through a little bit of a history bee. And I got a feeling that you guys are going to run circles around us. Just going to put that out there. Of course, we will also have links on our <laughs> website at casa.com under uh, the Casa blog. We All the information on how to get your kiddos involved. It's going to be a lot of fun.